Boule Kev Show, Real 92.3. My guy, all this Detroit shit happening, we got love for it. We're so happy that Detroit is winning. Yes, sir. But let's be clear, this guy kicked off the whole wave. T. Grizzly. For sure. What's up, though? Welcome, brother. How, first of all, man, it's good to see you, brother. Man, you too. You too. You've had a like, like you've had a crazy, like, underrated last two years because I feel like you put out one of the more dope, like, concept albums ever because you did, you did something nobody wants to do anymore, and that's take artistic risk. And you dropped the project with a video that it was a fucking movie. Yeah. That you acted in. Yeah. Yeah. Robbery Seven just came out. Yeah. Um. And then you followed it up with Tease Coney Island, which has been running radio, urban radio for a minute, man. You no, know, for sure. Whole going crazy, like, yeah. just how's it feel, man? Man, I feel great, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a blessing. And um, I'm just happy to see all the hard work paying off, you know? I was going to ask you, like, um, going back to the concept project, like, how, is it hard to convince the label to do some shit like that? No, it's because... Just, it felt like an art piece. Yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't for radio, it wasn't for none of that. I was like, nah, I'm going to get this shit off. Yeah. When I went to the label with it, I was talking to Salim and Kev, and they was like, man, this is your Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, this is your story to tell. You know what I'm saying? Your stories to tell. You know what I'm saying? So they they they, they um gave me the blessing, you know what I'm saying? And the, the, the people, they loved it. Yo, I was the first thing I thought when I saw when you dropped uh, Tease Coney Island, I was thinking to myself, like, it would be a very strong missed business opportunity for you to not open up a Coney Island restaurant like and franchise it. Because mm -hmm. in L.A., we don't have that. Mm -hmm. That's a straight Detroit thing. Yeah. Have you considered like actually opening a physical Coney Island outside of Detroit? Because there's be too crazy. many in Detroit. Yeah, that would be crazy. But if you had one in L.A., that shit would be cracking. No, nah, for sure. On Melrose or something like that. Bruh. Yeah. Or in the valley. In the valley. The valley would go up. The valley would go up. I say Melrose because every time I ride down Melrose, bro, that mother be packed. For sure. For people who don't know what a Coney Island is, just kind of describe it for people who have never been to Detroit. So basically, I can't really say it's y'all in and out or y'all fat burger because it's like a diner that sells some of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like you get you some chili fries, you get a burger, you get a grilled chicken pita. You know what I'm saying? It's like a diner. Cake. It's like a, a cheesecake like diner you know, with a drive-thru. It's like a diner with a drive-thru. Yes. That serves your, like, food that you would make at home, that you would cook. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, man, I want some chicken wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want an omelet. I want some chicken and fries, an omelet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. BLT, yeah. I, I think like when that. people think of it, they think of, like, a Coney hot dog. No, no, it ain't just hot dogs. I ain't got a Coney dog in so long. Right. Don't get me wrong. They, be, they fire when they fire, but I go there and get me a corned beef sandwich today or something. Hey, um... Something that I thought was really dope and important, because I'm real close with you, and I'm, I'm real tight with uh, Sada, baby. Um, and, you know, anybody who knows Sada, he's just a, a bright light when you're around him. He's a great guy. But you working with Skilla, baby, and putting out, in my opinion, by the way, we didn't mention that you guys had one of the hardest albums of last year. Appreciate it. That Appreciate album was it. fucking crazy. Appreciate it, bro. But when you guys did that, I said, okay, well, now, now there's got to be the combo where you and Sada speak and, and when mm -hmm. I saw you guys posting together it just it just brought so much happiness to me man how 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 dope of a moment was that for you guys to just finally just clear the air and just yeah it was super dope because the thing is between me and him it, it wasn't never really a problem you know right. what I'm saying but when you got two people that ain't talking you know what I'm saying it's just a lot of you come to your own conclusions right you know what I'm saying because you ain't talking to this person so it was just confusion and the conversation kind of cleared all that up you know it yeah. wasn't ever no blood on it or no shit like that and how dope was uh because for people who, do, who haven't met Skilla Baby, obviously, he's one of the... Uh, I, I haven't met many artists who have just a, such a, a, a good heart and a good head on their shoulders. Like, he's great, man. Like, mm -hmm. And no, sure. just made the Freshman cover. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was that like, to, like, like, linking with him, doing that album? Because you're the... Like, I, like, everybody gives it up to you, bro. Whether mm -hmm. it's Vezo, everybody will give it up. Like, you're the guy who kicked the street shit off commercially where everybody can accept it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what was the, what was the process like working with Skilla Baby? Because you did that, you know early with him yeah you know before the yeah YP records and all that you know no for sure so the the working with skillet man it reminded me seeing how he worked and just being around him just reminded me of like me yeah you know what i'm saying like we really he and he really is detroit yes you know what i'm saying so it's home you know what i'm saying so it felt great you know what i'm saying working with him did you see um that babytron big sean and eminem just dropped the record that's crazy yeah that's crazy and I was talking to uh, Nassan, who's Proof's son. He was walking around here, and I was like, I kind of feel like that song, to me, 
I know I know Baby Tron is is not like a straight street rapper, but he is a part of like young, the younger generation of Detroit artists. Mm-hmm. And to me, you know, there's always been the narrative that like the Eminem and Royce era of Detroit music is is so separated from what y'all been having going on. Do you feel like it's like starting to come? Like when I see Baby Tron on a song with Eminem, I'm like, that's fucking crazy. Like mm-hmm. what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. Like do you feel like the the gap is starting to close because I feel like the unification of Detroit has been crazy recently. Yeah. See the thing with 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 him, he not gonna he not gonna do nothing on nobody time. You know what I'm saying? He not gonna do nothing when somebody else want him to do right. it. You feel me? He gonna do what he want to do, and he gonna do whatever he do is gonna be great for the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because. People ain't really start hearing about Detroit and the music side until Eminem came out. You feel me? So honestly, he can't really do no wrong. Yeah. You feel me? But him doing that was crazy though. Super crazy. That was crazy. And the shit's hard. Cause Baby Tron like he like he like the younger crowd, like the new generation Super of Detroit. Young. You know what I'm saying? And so he's so cold. He got yeah. the craziest punchline. So for him to get something with him, that's 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 amazing. Yo, sure. um, are you still? Doing your GTA server, you still playing a lot online? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is the bag still? I mean, because you, you were telling me some of them Twitch bags you was getting yeah. was kind of crazy. Yeah, you know the Twitch, the Twitch bags is, is there. You haven't sure. moved on to a new game. Still on GTA. Still on GTA. Still doing the, the role GTA playing. GTA forever, man. GTA forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So look, uh, any anything? I'm, I'm obviously, I'm sure you got some new shit coming down the pipeline. Mm-hmm. How much music you sitting on right now? Man, my album, my next album is like 80 percent complete. Oh, you ready? Yeah. It ain't stopping, man. Yeah, like 80% complete, bro. Yeah, you bro. had a very underrated last couple of years, bro. I appreciate it, bro. For sure. Because well, I, I feel like it. the concept album and the and the album with Skiller were so slept on somehow. But, the man, you've been mm-hmm. on top of your shit, dog. Congratulations, yeah, brother. Appreciate I'm glad you're it, out bro. here reminding motherfuckers you're placing this shit. No, I definitely. Because I feel like you were sitting there playing video games during the pandemic, dog. Yeah, you had yeah. You to shake people up and remind them, bro. No, for sure, for sure. Big Grizzly, my we, brother. I appreciate you, bro. Love, appreciate you, bro. Boom.